Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the on edit function that Google provides, and it's basically a trigger function on when something changes on your spreadsheet. But in this video, I'm going to specifically target a certain cell, like I'm looking for a change on a certain cell, and then I'm going to do an action. So I'm over on my spreadsheet. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it on edit. And I'm going to give it a change the name of the sheet here. Those two things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at A1 and see if there's any changes. And if I populate something in A1 or change something in A1, I'm going to populate the same thing in C1 as my demonstration. So I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go Script Editor. I'm going to go up here, give this a name, on edit script, hit OK. Change my name, function to on edit. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the range in which that was called from. And the E here is the information that comes back. It's an object that comes back after the edit is triggered. And it provides the range, the spreadsheet, the value that actually that you, that was inputted on that cell. And there's a couple other things as well, but those are the three main things we're going to be using in this video. Next, I'm going to get the spreadsheet. The sheet name. Uh, the column of the range. the row of the range and the input value and then from there I'm going to specify a certain cell that I'm looking at the change and I'm going to populate C1. So I'm going to do an if statement. Sheet name equals on edit and column equals one and row equals one. That's going to be my if statement. And now I'm going to populate uh, C1. So we're going to save it. Uh, we're expecting this line 16. Oh, yes. I got the wrong bracket here. There. Hit save. Everything checks out. Next, we're going to go over our sheet. Hit test here. Hit tab. And now it populates test. You can do it again with something different. Five, 
populates over there. And I can change it up. So that's just showing an example how you can use the on edit. Um, it can be used in many different ways, but I just specifically targeted one cell for it to run. So, you know, if I hit some down here, it's not going to execute anything. It's just specific to A1. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. And I'll also post the script below the video as well so you can copy and paste it. Until next time.